now time to meet more Cybos stars. They're part of the Cybos Talent Accelerator route known as the STAR program. OK, so for those of you who haven't heard of it, well, let me give you an idea of what it's all about. It is a scholarship scheme and it is aimed at empowering professional women. Now, we spoke yesterday to two people who've benefited from the programme, and I'm delighted to say that we are now joined by two others. They are Koketso Lahoibe, who's head, head of business risk at Standard Bank, and Lana Rukavina, the Treasury Relationship Officer at Bank of America. Welcome to Cybos TV, guys. It's good to see you both. We were, we were you. close. We were close oh, enough yes. on the names. Yeah. We almost got there. Yes, I got it right. Your pronunciation was very good. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, Koketso, uh, you're on the second day of Cybos. Uh, what's your key takeaway so far? Okay, for me, it has to be um, the power of collaboration uh, within the financial services industry by the various stakeholders. And I think uh, having observed um, th uh, the different activities that were happening and the topics that were being discussed, I saw that um, the industry is sharing their ideas in terms of um, what's happening around them. They're sharing new trends, you know, and in sharing new trends, they're also talking about the emerging risks that they're seeing across the industry. Um, they're talking about um, just uh, key activities that are happening that are going to impact the financial industries. How can we leverage each other's abilities and capabilities in solving uh, industry challenges? I mean, this creates like a template uh, for problem solutions, you know. Um, it was so great to also listen to Sergey because they are also part of our conversation. So immediately they can automatically come up with solutions to solve some of uh, the problems, you know. And um, when Her Majesty uh, uh, Queen... Um, Queen Maxima. Yes. When she mentioned the importance and emphasis on financial stability, I believe that, um, I mean, financial inclusivity, I really believe that through collaboration and not just local or domestic collaboration, but rather global collaboration, we'll be able to um, implement some of those goals from a financial services industry perspective. Mm. And that's certainly the themes that, that we've, we've been hearing in the studio as well. But Lana, I understand that you're a Cybos newcomer. This is your first. This is my first thing. Okay, so the for first of me. many. It's, it's a pleasure, the first <laughs> of many. But what is it that's made the most impact on you so far? So many themes have come up, especially around thought leadership. Is there anything that really stands out in your mind? Well, to me, the sheer size of the conference, as well as the, the buzz and the energy in the venue alongside the variety of speakers and the topics covered, is unlike anywhere else. Uh, one of the most interesting areas that we have been discussing, I'm glad you mentioned Queen Maxima, is financial inclusion and really the focus on initiatives that improve digital access to financial services. Uh, there were currently 1.7 billion people globally without access to a bank account, and half of those people are women. Essentially, de-risking uh, efforts and compliance concerns have left poorer communities without access to a bank account, and it is highly unlikely that without one they would ever benefit from any additional financial services such as credit or insurance. And what Queen Maxima was saying and was really, really resonated with me was really that the key to achieving financial inclusion is to invest in the digital infrastructure and leveraging big data and artificial intelligence. Essentially, everybody has a smartphone today, regardless of social status, and we all use it to make and receive payments. And what she was saying was that we shouldn't be innovating uh, for the sake of innovation, but to focus on the problem that we're trying to solve and that when we solve for long-term problems, then we make financially healthy customers that are in turn better customers. Let's focus on the STAR scholarship program for a moment. Kaket, so of all the opportunities that the program has opened up for you, what has been the most impactful? For me, it will definitely have to be the instant access to the pool of powerful, successful women leaders within the industry. You know, women who've um, spearheaded great initiatives. That for me is invaluable because these women are made available to us through mentorship programs. And it's not just during cybers, but when we get off here, we've exchanged contact details, we've connected with them, we've shared issues of similar interest, similar challenges. So we've got this global network where we constantly, or what, rather where we have access to reach these women, you know, they've been through a similar journey. And just that global support for me is invaluable. I don't think you can get it anywhere 
for me to sit, to take what I've learned here, go back to my country and to my company and impart my knowledge with my fellow women and also connect them to the same global connections that I've made is super powerful. And for me, I think that is invaluable. I wouldn't have had it if I have not been part of this specific program, you know. And uh, uh, you've seen that. Uh, our connection um, is really valuable. The stuff that we have shared, Lana can attest to that. But you two you will know? be connecting even when yes. the cycle is over. <laughs> and, and not only professionally, but also on a, on a personal level. I mean, some of the ladies, we've already planning trips outside Cybos, and that is really going to strengthen our industry, you know, just that collaboration and familiarity. Yeah, and that's, that's fantastic that friendships are spawned as a result of this. And Lana, but what has it brought to you as well? Because, I mean, when I used a similar expression yesterday, high, pe high potential professional, mm. the ladies were a bit shy. <laughs> I don't see you sort of hiding your head because it's like, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with this. It is your title because both of you have incredible potential and this has been recognised. Mm. So what does that mean, getting that, that accolade from Cybos? Well, to me, I want to highlight three things. Uh, firstly, personal and professional connections. As you just mentioned, I've met so many fabulous women as part of the STAR Scholarship Program. Each and every one of them has left a lasting impact on me after just two days. I've either, they've either taught me something new or, or shown me perspective that I had not appreciated before. Uh, secondly, access to senior leaders and industry professionals has been unparalleled. I would highlight the group mentoring sessions that we've had, which have been eye-opening to me and incredibly valuable as I think about my next career step and my professional development more generally. One of the key takeaways to me was from one of the sessions about focusing to build your credibility without inside a corporation before you start challenging the status quo, which is quite powerful, not something I thought of before. And lastly, thought leadership, which has been super relevant, inspiring and thought provoking. I think I'm actually going to start incorporating some of the themes that I've been listening about in my client conversations going forward. For example, yesterday I was in a session that focused on some very futuristic use cases for distributed ledger technology and blockchain that focus on data protection. Uh, essentially, we will become masters of our own data and we will decide who gets to have access to it. We can monetize it. And one of the examples that was given was really the use of non-fungible tokens to, to store your medical data, which is mm. mind-blowing. Mm, that is. But look, we have to leave it there. Can I just say congratulations? You are two very talented women and I know you are going to shake up the financial <laughs> services sector. And when you do shake it and restructure it, refashion it mm. in a way that is reflective, it does what it is meant to do, that we get the first exclusive interview. <laughs> I can't say fairer than that. Definitely. Do you agree to it? Definitely. Excellent. Definitely. Thank you in advance. Thank you in All advance. Right. <laughs> Thank you. But big thanks to Koket Solehoibi, who's Head of Business Risk at Standard Bank, and Lana Rokavina. She's the Treasury Excellent. Relationship Officer at Bank of America. Thank you. <laughs> I got the pronunciation right. It's been great seeing you. Enjoy the rest of Cybos. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.